Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Amen. Beloved, as we press deeper into the power of right believing, I want to show you practical ways in which you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right believing is all about renewing your mind and uprooting the wrong beliefs that shape your thinking and behavior. That is why the word of God says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. God wants to change the way we think by shifting our thoughts from self-occupation to Christ's occupation. Our human tendency is to be focused on ourselves. We are prone to excessive self-introspection and are easily susceptible to becoming preoccupied with ourselves rather than with Jesus. Many of our greatest pains, struggles, failures and miseries stem from being eye-centered. Oftentimes, we are engrossed with thoughts such as, have I done enough? What is wrong with me? Unfortunately, when we, be when we become overly occupied with self, we become obsessed, obsessed, oppressed, and inevitably depressed. Beloved, is your mind filled constantly with thoughts of how you have failed, how you have missed it, and how unworthy you are, that is symptomatic of someone who is clearly self-occupied. Thoughts like that cause a person, thoughts like that cause a person to develop an inferiority complex. People who suffer from this are very ready to condemn themselves. Their minds are clouded with negativity and pessimism. pessimism. But self-occupation can also manifest at the other end of the pendulum swing as a superiority complex. complex. There are people who think they are always better than everyone else. They are painfully arrogant and they think their perspectives and opinions are always right. Whether you are feeling superior or inferior, your focus is still on yourself. And in the end, that causes you great pain, misery, and heartache. Only in Christ, beloved, will you experience true transformation and work neither in pride nor in false humility. When you are Christ occupied, the flesh is you because inconsequential and you begin manifesting all the lovely, wholesome and beautiful attributes of Jesus Christ unconsciously. The fruit of the Spirit such as love, joy, peace and kindness flow through you effortlessly when your mind is renewed occupied with the person of Jesus. It is an inevitability. You cannot touch God's grace and not become holy and more than you can touch water and not get wet. Amen. Share this video and bless the soul. Shalom.